Welcome back to the Happy Camper, coming to you from the beautiful mountains of Southwest Montana. Today we are shooting on location at our sponsor's dealership, as beautiful a day as it is for February in Montana. We have some unbelievably big snow drifts out at our uh, location we normally film on, so we're still trying to bring you guys content, uh, we're just doing it here at the dealership, so when I do step outside, I apologize for the noise, we are right up here on the street, so it is it is a little noisy, I am running my big muff on my, sp on my microphone today, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to hear everything and won't be too overwhelming with the uh, background noise. So today we're going to take a look at the new 2020 Bighorn 3300 DL fifth wheel from Heartland RVs. This unit is uh, on the smaller side of what the Bighorn offerings are. It is a great couples coach to get down the highway in. Uh, if you're if you're Montana and you're snowbirding and you just want to get out of the get out of the cold and get down and, and enjoy some warmer weather in Arizona or Nevada or one of those places. Uh, great way to go. It is a, uh, of course, a very good unit for extended stays in Montana as well. If you want to, you know, go out and spend some time at the lake, get, get a little more serious about what you're doing, or you're just simply looking for a better quality than what you're going to get in your standard mid-profile fifth wheel or that type of thing. Uh, of course, Bighorn has been on the market for a very long time now. Uh, came to market in 2004. They have have done extremely well ever since with, uh, with the Heartland product. They were since, of course, purchased by Thor Manufacturing, which has given them the backing of of Thor, which is the largest company on earth as far as RV manufacturing goes. And um, they just do an extremely nice job year in, year out. They've held the quality well. They have made um, some minor changes for this model year, uh, but still have stayed consistent with the Bighorn look and reputation, things you would expect from Bighorn. I've been involved with this company and uh, and uh, the, the Bighorn product line since its inception in 2004, working at the dealership or at a dealership that was uh, carrying uh, the Bighorn product and picked it up that very first year. So I've got a pretty intimate knowledge of Bighorn and how they do it and what they've done and what their evolution has been. And just uh, the good people at Heartland that, that just carry this product on their back with pride. It is one of their flagship products. This and Landmark were their first products they brought out and they have been uh, very well received ever since. So the 3300DL is a rear sofa type of unit, as you can see as I'm panning around here as I'm jabbering on and talking to you. Uh, a very nice, eloquently done, smaller touring fifth wheel. So what you're going to see, and I'm just going to start right here on the door side. At the door, we're going to go around the back. I'm just going to walk you right around the coach here. So what you're going to see on the door side slide out, this is what they would consider an EL model which is uh, going to be the straight line roof with the extra tall slide outs here in the main floor. And those are unbelievably tall, seven foot interiors. The ceiling inside of this feels like your home. It doesn't feel cramped at all. It doesn't taper towards the back and make you feel like you're, you know, in some type of small little shoe box. It's really a nice feel in here. It gives you some, some depth and some, and some real elbow room. So starting into the slide out, we do have our dinette here. This is a convertible dinette system. So it's got a leaf that pops out here and that'll expand out. We do have additional seating that is stored up in the front compartment. Again, this unit is designed to be a mom and pop coach. Uh, you know, so a couples or a two person coach, that's kind of what you're looking at here. So they do the two chairs down here standard. So you have the extra room. We do, if you have company, we do have additional chairs up in the front closet and they are folding chairs, but they match the upholstery and they match the wood color. So they come down and, and set out and makes a, a nice feature there that you don't have to have four chairs around your table all the time if it's just the two of you traveling. Um, the, again, the, the table here has kind of this clear span underneath it. It's a pretty interesting table design. It attaches back to the wall so you don't have table legs and that kind of thing to work your feet around. Uh, we do have overhead lighting as well as overhead cabinets. And then towards the back of the sofa here, we have the two seat reclining, massage, and heated theater seat. So this will come in and out under power. So you can see it extends. We have heat as well as massage. And we do have some lighting on there as well. So pretty interesting little theater seat. This is out of that Thomas Paine collection. We've seen quite a bit of that throughout, uh, throughout the different units we've looked at with little cup holders built into each end. 
In the back of the unit here, we do have our three cushion sleeper sofa. This unit does give you uh, the ability to have additional company and sleep them here in the back of the unit. Uh, they do have little uh, t end tables here at, the, at the each side bes beside the uh, sofa, which do house electrical outlets as well as USB charging outlets. And that is in conjunction with the sleeping. They, they do try to put the USB in a place you have sleeping uh, space in the unit. So that's kind of why you're seeing that there. They double as night tables. So apologize that was my crazy phone ringer going off there uh, overhead we do have cabinets here in the back of the unit with LED reading lights and those are just a push on push off um, way up over the top of my head here on the ceiling we're gonna see our ceiling fan mounted up there as well as our AC ducts uh, I was gonna mention this that we do have the split air duct returns one here right above my head is another one and that does severely quiet down the air conditioning which if you've been around RVing much you definitely know those ACs have an extremely loud air intake on them this quiets that down quite a bit and I'm just gonna turn that phone off All right, and we'll press on here. Sorry about that. Uh, of course, the, the 4K Ultra HD TV here on the off-door wall in the back corner. We do have the entertainment center there below it, as well as the large 40-inch uh, Fury on fireplace. And that, of course, does give you electric heat as well as a nice effect here in the back of the coach. Really gives you some, some good look. Uh, moving up towards the kitchen here, you can see, of course, this is an island kitchen model. So it's going to have the island with the sink out here in the middle. This will give you some backlighting here with some glass inserts and then of course the solid surface countertops up on top these do have matching drop in sink covers as well as stainless steel sink and high-rise gooseneck faucet with the pull-out sprayer you're gonna see here we have some large pantries and then up here as well we do also have of course overhead storage compartments the large uh, high point microwave, and this is going to be a convection microwave combination, and this is featured in stainless steel. We do have backsplash against the uh, the window here behind the range. This is that new three burner range from Furion that has the uh, the iron grates on it there. I think it's a really, really nice look. Gives a, a very similar look to what you're going to see at homes um, with the uh, gas cooktops. And then down here we do have the Furion built-in uh, range system, and that is a gas range and again made to look like your home built-in wall oven which is a really nice feature down here on the main right at the front of the, the uh, off door main slide out you're gonna see the norcold 18 cubic foot polar max gas electric refrigerator uh this particular bighorn and most of them in the northwest and definitely the stuff you're gonna see in stock at rocky mountain is going to be optioned with the Norcold Polar Max versus the 23 cubic foot residential electric refrigerator. And that being said, you know, of course, the, the residential fridge is great. It gives you lots of space and it's easy to use. It's just like at your house until you want to dry camp this coach. And I know that most of these things are not going to be far from power, but this one does give you the option. And this fridge is not lacking anything. It is absolutely massive. And uh, we've talked about this fridge in the past. And again, I, I'm gonna make some additional videos just on this fridge. This is the largest gas absorption refrigerator system that's ever been designed. And so it is, uh, it's a little bit, um, does take a little bit of a learning, kernel, learning curve to use it because it is a, uh, a gas electric absorption, which is just, a, it's, a big, it's a big surface for that. It, this particular one does actually work better on electric because it has dual electric elements and just a single gas burner. It will work fine on gas, but again, it, it's a large, you know, it's a large surface. I have people that tell me, oh, you know, I bought a case of Otter Pops and threw them in there and then turned the fridge on and, and tried to freeze them and it took forever. It wouldn't freeze them. Well, of course not. It's a huge, huge system. You got to cool the fridge down. Usually you want to do it on electric, then switch it over to gas. Try not to open the doors a ton. Have the, the food that put that you're putting in there cold when it goes in. Give that gas system just a little help, and that'll that'll alleviate a lot of problems with these these extremely large gas absorption systems. So. 
again a little bit of a learning curve at some point we'll get around to doing a video that's just specifically on that fridge and i'll go through the ins and outs of that and how to kind of counteract it right up here against the front wall of the main room you're looking at a bunch a bunch of storage cabinets here as well as storage drawers and then we have overhead staggered cabinets up here as well uh, again everything in here is done in solid surface this backsplash here is a is a nice um you know it gives it a tile look it's not actual tile they're trying to hold the weight down and of course tile would be very prone to cracking in a uh, mobile unit like this but it does give that look and that matches back behind the black splash on the sink as well let's start up here towards the bedroom of course um, steps here we do have a grab handle to my right I'm going to go into the bedroom first and we'll come back to the uh, bathroom in just a moment. So this unit, again, even the, even in the shorter 33-foot flat platform, they are uh, doing this with a king bed. So this is a king bed in here. It's going to be a 70-inch wide by 80-inch long mattress. It, uh, of course, does slide out in the bedroom slide. Uh, we do have the lighted headboard, reading lights overhead, USB charging again, um, and then, of course, all the pull-down shades. And again, I was going to mention this down below, but these are the MCD roller shades. Uh, I'll show you some of those down below because the, the up here, you're going to have just the blockout shades. Down below, you have these as well as a partial blockout. I want to show you that before we step outside. Against the front uh, wall of the unit, of course, we have our front closet. Uh, we do also have a little built-in nightstand there for your alarm clock or glasses or whatever you might need. Um, we do have built-in shoe racks up here in the front closet. These are sliding doors. So they're going to come across and latch in. And then this unit does come with a Dyson handheld uh, vacuum, which is really a nice feature. A lot, of, a lot of companies do a central vac. I like the Dyson. Number one, I have one of these myself, and um, I actually use it to vacuum up my pontoon boat in the summertime so it's a multi-purpose for me and it's it is a really really nice little vacuum uh, in this side on the right hand side of the front closet you can see that this particular area is sectioned off but it is uh, plumbed and wired for washer dryer prep so if you want to do washer dryer that's where this is going to go if not this is going to still be a closet space we have a closet rod there as well as an overhead shelf so that is a multi-purpose space that is good for just about everything i have all the shades drawn today because it is so bright outside the sun is just uh absolutely blinding out there so i've got all the uh the shades drawn i'll show you on the outside kind of how all the windows are laid out in this unit but um so if you're wondering why that's why we have all the shades pulled at the foot of the bed we do have a chest of drawers and then up above that overhead we do have our bedroom tv that is installed from the factory uh up on the ceiling here you will see the air intakes and that is for the second air conditioning system they do use a dual ac system on all the bighorns that is standard out of the factory uh, the bedroom door for a step too close there the bedroom door does close off to the rest of the coach with a little sliding pocket door there and that's a hard door and then we do have a sliding pocket door here for the bathroom and that's just going to make it a little bit easier so you're not swinging a door out into this smaller hallway i think the bathroom in this particular unit 3300 does make the biggest difference in the unit it is a, a very well done bathroom the extremely large glass panel shower here with the uh, the granite look surround and the uh, fiberglass base in it here really has a nice look. We do have that big overhead skylight in there that that Bighorn is known for. Gives you a little extra headroom plus adds some uh, some additional natural light into the bathroom here. Of course, you know this trim level just as you would expect. You're going to see the porcelain toilet there, and I believe this one is a Thetford. Um, we also have, of course, dual his and hers sinks and it's really just a, a nice color combination in here uh, get back here you can see a little bit more of the whole bathroom but you do have great storage down below the his and hers sinks we have a great big vanity up here with storage on either side i think one of the better done bathrooms that i've seen up overhead here this one does have a uh, fantastic fan up in the main vent here as well so I'm going to step back down here, we'll take a look at the uh, the blinds really quick, and then I'm going to step outside and walk you around the outside of the Bighorn 3300. Again, very, very nice coach. Um, and again, this is what I was talking about on... I'm actually going to step over here because that, that sun will blind us. So here's your partial, or excuse me, here's your full blockouts, and these are a an auto retracting and then this guy is a partial block out that's just going to keep some of the sun out but you can still see out nobody can see in it's a nice shade you will see that they also trim their windows out in complete wood trim here and and um, finish that off make it look a little nicer than your standard unit <coughs> all right let's take a walk outside 
and take a peek around the outside of this unit just to give you an idea what you're looking at. And like I said, it is an absolutely beautiful bluebird day in southwest Montana. It's a little cool out here, but for a February day in Montana, we're not going to complain about this at all. This unit, as you can see, has a really, really nice look. Got the uh, painted front cap there with the black and white. Gives it a lot of dimension, a lot of pop. Um, it, this isn't a white exterior sidewall, which I am a big fan of. The, the colored sidewalls, they've, they've been very prone to fading and delamination and a lot of issues due to the color. Uh, I like the fact that this guy has gone back to white. I think it's a classic look that is timeless and it's going to just be, uh, gonna be very, very serviceable for a long, long time. As we get back up closer to the front of this unit, uh, you can see that, of course, they do the uh, the large storage compartment here underneath. This is going to be prepped for dual batteries and uh, will come with dual batteries in most circumstances. We also, of course, have uh, our hydraulic systems in this front compartment and our battery disconnect. You will see that this front compartment is also punched to uh, accept the generators. So this will take a 5500 Onan LP fired is what it's gonna be punched out for. And you can install it after, after the fact if you're gonna be out in the desert or someplace you just don't have power and you wanna be able to power up the unit. Most any reputable dealer will be able to handle that process for you. Uh, this is a space saver chassis, meaning that the main frame rail uh, is, is up here underneath the main coach and then this, this frame drops down below here to give you this full size storage compartment here without having any, any humps and bumps in there. So that's a really nice feature that you're going to get from Heartland on Bighorn. They're known for it. They've done it for years and years. You'll also see that there's no, no uh, additional wiring or plumbing sticking out down here. Everything is finished off 100%. We, of course, do have a, a stain-resistant coating of the floor down here. It's more of a vinyl coating. And then, of course, everything is done in a gray felt and a black cover up here on the ceiling. This uh, area is heated, so it will, if you have items that are sensitive to, to freezing, this, this area does have some heat ducted down in here. We do also have lighting on both sides. You can see, of course, they do set it up for TV location there as well. Uh, outside outlets. This is a six post hydraulic leveling system that Bighorn uses. It's LCI's level up. They've used it for years. It's the best system on the market, hands down, without anybody arguing about that, I'm certain. Uh, and, and again, the, the trailer will 100% auto level, single touch button. You don't have to, you don't have to, um, have to mess with anything with it. It really works nicely. So it's a good system. Like I said, the big solid step here that comes down and hits the main floor and we do have the large grab handle up there as well this unit of course is a power awning led light strip the full length of the unit as well as uh, led security lights both front and rear the bighorn is going to set on 16 inch eight lug aluminum wheels with radial rubber mounted on there those are a nice big uh, 235 80 16 tire uh, and they, uh, they they do a good job I mean it's just it's everything that you need it's nothing super fancy but it gives you what you need you will also see of course that it has the uh, the uh, upgraded equalizer suspension in there as well as we step towards the back of the unit, you will see one of the differences that has become Bighorn this year versus years in the past. Bighorn has been known to uh, install a rear molded fiberglass cap. They have deleted that option for 2020 in an effort to reduce their pricing some. All of their competitors have stopped doing it. I'm a little disappointed to see Bighorn do this. However, I understand the fact that you, you know, it, it didn't do a lot of function. It just gave it a, a different look. Maybe cut the aerodynamics down a little bit further from what it was. But again, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, we have, to, we have to stay price competitive in the market. So I understand why they did it. I would have liked to seen them keep it, but that's just me. Your spare tire is mounted here towards the back of the coach on the BAL carrier system. Pretty simple. It just uh, it folds down from the side there if you need the spare out, and the spare will slide down to where you can grab it. Um, works, works as good as any system I've seen on the market. 
Uh, rear receiver accessory on this. This is a two inch accessory. They do not rate it for towing. It is simply meant for a bike rack or a storage carrier on the back or whatever you might have. But uh, it is a full two inch regular receiver hitch that they do mount here on the back of the frame. We do of course have LED exterior lights on this as well. Rear uh, rack and ladder and it is prepped for the Furion uh, backup camera. On the off door side you can see our 50 amp power cord attaches right there and runs over and connects in. Uh, we do have exterior storage on the off door side. These are all the uh, slam baggage latches that are full metal as well as the extra thick compartment doors. And we do have the um, magnetic catches up here so you can just flip them up and they'll stop, grab it and pull it down and slam it to close it. So really nice doors on this and that's going to be throughout the entire unit. Uh, as we step up here, we're going to get into more of our technical stuff. Of course, our service access for our refrigerator, water heater, and furnace are all out here. We do have our sewer connection here on the uh, kind of right in the middle of the coach. And this particular one does have just one sewer connection, which is a nice feature. Uh, technical information on this unit, you're looking at a 12,600 pound dry weight. You've got a 16,000 pound GVW on this. Uh, the unit uh, will carry 65 gallons of fresh water, uh, 84 on the gray water and uh, 42 on the black so you're going to get plenty of capacities um, good carrying capacities that that type of thing um, you know again just it's it's a well-designed unit it is warranted for full living is the other thing i did want to mention the unit has a year bumper to bumper warranty kind of covers everything in the unit minus your maintenance items as well as a three-year structural warranty and that is good for full-time use there's a lot of companies on the market that will sell you a, a touring fifth wheel like this and say if you live in it you void the warranty heartland doesn't partake in that kind of nonsense they warranty their units for the use they meant them for so up here in the front uh, storage compartment we do have our docking center and this kind of has all of our meat and potatoes of the unit the water filter the water hookups uh, all the winterized valves the dump valves for the gray and the black holding tanks uh the little outside shower so nothing too out of the ordinary there uh we do have close that big door there and that's a side swing door that closes up and of course this is a gel coat fiberglass still it's still the smooth uh, auto finish on it um, so you do get full uv protectant and that type of thing too uh, we do have one propane tank on either side of the unit and they mount these in here um, mostly to save some space you know you kind of get one on each side they fit better uh, and then we do also have room above them where you can install 40 pound tanks in these if you want they do leave you the room these are 30 pounds they install from the factory but you can upgrade um, at the dealership level to a 40 pound tank if you wish to all right coming around the front of the unit here again uh the storage compartment up front is where we started on the outside step back so we can get another view of the bighorn insignia the logo up on the front there really good looking unit again just a bluebird winter day here in montana we really appreciate you coming along for the ride if it makes sense we'd really appreciate you helping out our sponsors here at rocky mountain rv their website is www.rockymtnrv.com uh, once again from the happy camper if you like our content please like share and subscribe have a great day and happy camping